Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stay from Humanity That Borders. He live on the ground in Tanzania. Alhamdulillah, we're here with Brother Yusuf, Sheikh Ahmed, and we're distributing your amana, going door to door, delivering food parcels to those in need. Um, we're here with Sheikh Yusuf, and just as a bit of background, inshallah, Sheikh, uh, Brother Yusuf, he lives here um, in Tanzania, in the rural parts of Tanzania. It's taken us about two hours to get here through very rough conditions from main panda town to here. Alhamdulillah, we'll be going around distributing these 30 pound food parcels to ensure our brothers and sisters all across the globe have enough food to last them to Ramadan and then inshallah with the aim that we can keep coming back and keep distributing your your donations and food distributions. So we're just learning about Sheikh Brother Yusuf and his um, living circumstances. He's living in this room, as you can see, his rent for this room is 5,000 Tanzanian shillings every month, which is equivalent to about two pounds. He's, he's struggling to make ends meet whilst paying two pound rent a month. He has odd jobs, so when he goes to the main town, um, s sells whatever he can, offers his services to, for example, help, help with cutting grass or helping with cows or farming. And this is the reality on the situation of our brothers and sisters here in Tanzania. Brother Yusuf, we're going to inshallah ask you some questions if that's okay. And we want you to an answer inshallah. And just so that our brothers and sisters back in the UK can really understand the situation here inshallah. So I know we were talking about it outside. Have we asked the brother, Brother Yusuf, I know we've come here, alhamdulillah, with a food parcel today, but when was the last time someone's given you some aid? When was the last time someone reached out to give you a food parcel? It's the first time to reward this. Alhamdulillah, humanity that borders are here on the ground. We're delivering you amana. And Brother Yusuf just said as, as well that this is the first time a charitable organization or brothers and sisters have come here to, to help him and to give him some food. To us, wallahi, 30 pounds is nothing. Two pounds to pay his rent for one month is nothing. And the fact that we have this kalima that we all share, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, means that he is our brother, Brother Yusuf and the thousands like him across Tanzania are our responsibility. So let's keep asking questions inshallah. Brother Yusuf, how is Ramadan for you? We know Ramadan is only what, less than six, seven weeks away. Yeah. Uh, what happens if you don't have any food for iftar? What do you do? Shay Yusuf, Ramadan is a good thing. It's a good thing to Ramadan. It's okay. okay. Tell our brother Yusuf, tell us about how your Ramadan goes. Ko she sufu tu ambi ni jisigani Ramadan yako na wakwenda unapata jeriski, unapitia mabogani unapata riski, je unapata chakura, unapata maji, unapata ftari, unapata daku, do tuweleze isha. Unapata jina kwa so when it comes to Ramadan, this one is the one who gives him food. Allah gives this. So he iftar is water and anything just small and uh, suhur water only water. There's no iftar food. food if, iftar water. Water. Brother Yusuf, inshallah, this is the circumstance of Brother Yusuf and thousands like him across Tanzania and probably, of course, there's millions across the world. Ramadan is coming and like you just heard Brother Yusuf say, he has nothing to break his fast with but water. Place ourselves in their shoes. What would you do if Brother Yusuf was your brother? What would we do if Brother Yusuf was our son or our father? How could we live? How can we enjoy Ramadan? knowing there's millions worldwide like Brother Yusuf that don't have anything to break their fast with. Humanity that borders, alhamdulillah, we're trying to do our little bit and we've launched our project 100K where we're trying to feed, inshallah, 100,000 families this Ramadan 2023. We urge every single one of you, no matter what you contribute, please pray for us, pray for all those in need this Ramadan and donate, inshallah, wherever you can. Other than the food for Brother Yusuf, is there anything else we can help him with? Is there anything we can do to try and change his circumstance or do something for him? Or is food the most thing that he needs?
bahasa ini gitu cocok tanpa jalan ya itu kan jangan capu lah bagi kita di sini juga kan ya sama ya he say that uh, food is okay but he needs other help another help anything that you want you wish anything to help him just help him inshallah you can see the circumstance yourself the only thing that comes to mind i know it's very off topic but we're talking about brother yusuf is I remember the story of the Prophet Sallallahu how the Prophet Sallallahu used to obviously sleep on a straw mat and you can see this is how brother used to sleep this is his bed this is this is his living circumstance wallahi we have it so easy and we even if we were to be grateful every single day for the rest of our lives will never be enough so this is just the insight to brother Yusuf jazakallah for your time jazakallah for explaining your circumstance to us may Allah reward you um, I'm sorry we couldn't give you more this is just one full small food parcel, but inshallah we hope and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts this from all of us, our donors in the UK, and that we can inshallah make an impact not just to your life, but inshallah make a difference in Tanzania and across the globe inshallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.